with the arrival of the latest Fortnite update, we've gotten the addition of the brand new avatar collaboration. As obviously right now, inside of the Battle Pass menu, you guys can see all of the brand new Korra rewards. She will be able to unlock in the next four days, including all of her other cosmetics, obviously being new edit styles, backlinks, and everything else of the sort. We've also gotten our very first look at the brand new avatar collaboration, which will be arriving very shortly, including the brand new event pass with all of the brand new rewards finally revealed, and much, much more that we're going to be going over here in today's video. So trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of it. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now. If you want this to be your Fortnite account the next time you log in in the next nine days. And if you don't, this will be waiting for you. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have to picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, including the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy bundle, which I have to say is super sick, do consider using my support creator code YTRA inside of the Fortnite item shop shop as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile hashtag ad so finally the brand new chorus skin will finally be made available in the next four days with all of our brand new rewards being finally obtainable while completing some simple challenges and we also will be getting the arrival of our brand new mythic item obviously being the brand new water bending ability which you guys can see up on screen right here and i have to say this definitely does look like it's going to be pretty fun to use as obviously we have tons of mythic items here in chapter 5 season 2 and even more on the way that we're going to be getting into very shortly so as soon as those challenges go live, be sure you're completing each and every single one of them as we do know about a brand new event that will be happening on the Fortnite Island on a build up to a massive avatar collaboration and also another collab that will be arriving in a few short weeks that you definitely don't want to miss out on. And well, as you guys can see, we are wearing the brand new Young Groot skin, which I have to say is pretty cool as it's obviously available inside of the Fortnite item shop right now alongside with Drax and also Mantis. And this bundle does cost a whopping 28 euros. At least where I'm from, so be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be able to get your hands on this brand new bundle. I want to help out as many of you guys as possible, as this skin definitely does look pretty cool, especially for any of you guys who actually missed out on the original group skin from Chapter 2 Season 4's Battle Pass. And obviously, we had to rock on with the Rocket Back Blink, considering those two are like best friends in those movies. Look at what we have going on over here. Let's see if we can... And uh, to find this DM work so difficult to use sometimes. Okay, make sure there's somebody else. And there we go, easy dubs. But we do also know about some other major collaborations arriving here inside of this season, as we do know that there's actually going to be a brand new May the 4th event with all brand new Star Wars skins, just like the way we see every single year. As we've already had a brand new weapon leaked inside of the game files, actually being the Wookiee Bowcaster, so it does look like we're finally going to be seeing the arrival of Chewbacca in Fortnite, which is kind of crazy because we already have so many major Star Wars characters. So definitely be sure to be on the lookout for that, as Chewbacca is confirmed now to be one of those brand new skins with his very own item that we will be able to find on the island and potentially some others that we have not yet seen. But we will obviously have to wait and see Consider we do also know that we're going to be seeing the addition of brand new vehicles that are actually going to be a brand new Beskar Mandalorian car, which I'm guessing will obviously be able to be used inside of Rocket Racing and also inside of the actual Rocket League game. So that way it's going to obviously work cross-platform between those two different game modes. Just like the way we've seen tons of people have actually been granted brand new free cars on their account by owning them in Rocket League inside of Fortnite, which is definitely pretty cool. So obviously expect that event to obviously start roughly around May the 4th with some small challenges with some potential brand new small free rewards as obviously we're getting the brand new Avatar event pass. Oh. Oh, what is going on? This command came out of nowhere. He made over this way. This gun can be hard to use, but when you do land a shot on it, it definitely makes up for it. Okay, that guy almost had me, but not just yet. So if you guys are a fan of the Star Wars collaborations, be sure to let me know down in the comments, as obviously it's going to be a pretty nice collaboration. And we most likely will also be seeing the unvaulting of the lightsabers yet again, with all of the brand new Force abilities, potentially even some of the ones that didn't make the way into the game last year, such as the brand new Force lightning ability, so we could potentially even be seeing Palpatine as well. But leave your thoughts on that down in the comments, as we're still quite a bit of time before we do actually reach May the 4th, considering it's roughly a month away. But obviously we do know we're going to be seeing the arrival 
of a brand new event pass, just like the way we've seen with every previous season now, with this one obviously being focused on Avatar The Last Airbender. As we will actually see a brand new prelude event happen on the island, where we actually will see this iceberg show up on the coast of the island itself, and it will get closer every single day, which is very similar to what actually happened in the Avatar show itself, as we do know that Aang obviously first appeared inside of an iceberg alongside with Appa, who is obviously this kind of flying bison kind of creature. So obviously this will start, and then by the time it reaches the island officially, this event will start. Most likely with the brand new Fortnite update obviously being the 29.20, which should be releasing on April 9th. So that's still a little bit of time to go, but obviously this brand new prelude should be starting beforehand. And we've already actually had a look at all of the brand new awards that you guys are going to be able to get as a priority at this brand new event pass. Where's your teammate? Where he is there? I don't know if it's just me, but does anybody hate the thermal scope on guns? I actually despise it. But we do know as a part of the brand new event pass, just by purchasing the premium track, which is obviously going to cost 1,000 V-Bucks, you guys will instantly get access to the brand new Ang skin, who's obviously the main character from the Avatar show, which is definitely pretty cool. So you won't actually have to do a ton of grinding to actually be able to get his brand new skin, but we also will actually have some brand new free rewards available on the free track. Just like last season, where you obviously could get tons of brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle emotes on the free track without paying a single penny so that's definitely pretty cool i will be grinding out to get all of these brand new emotes and also get all of the premium track rewards as this is definitely going to be worth it as we're also going to be seeing another skin at the very end of the premium track just like the way last season we obviously had super shredder and i'm guessing this time around it obviously will be probably even a better version of ang potentially being an upgraded version or potentially even being ozai who i believe is the antagonist from the avatar show as we are said to see even more mythic items arrive with this brand new collab too such as brand new fire bending, air bending, earth bending, and also water bending, which is kind of crazy. So it does look like Fortnite's honestly going to be getting some massive updates with tons of brand new chests being found across the island, which will obviously contain these brand new mythic items, which you obviously you can see up on screen right here is what they'll all look like. So it definitely does look like there's going to be tons of content for us to obviously take part in, considering we do know that this event will actually be taking place until the very end of the season. Because keep in mind, this season is actually going to be one of the shorter seasons we do get here in chapter five, as it will actually be ending on May 24th, which is honestly not that long at all. So it does look like they've actually squeezed in another season inside of Chapter 5, considering we do know we're supposed to be seeing the return of Fortnite Season OG again. We do have a lot of beef going on over here. Alright, there's one down. He's actually down. I don't even think they realize I'm here. And there we go. But as a part of the brand new event pass, we also will be seeing the addition of brand new challenges that each and every single one of you guys will be able to take part in. As we do know, we're actually going to actually have to collect these different books, which is obviously going to be different stages of these challenges. And by completing each and every single one of them, you actually will be able to get Appa as a brand new glider. As this was accidentally leaked last season on the Shredder Pass, as all of the text actually showed up completely wrong. As obviously you can see, it did say placeholder. Considering this obviously was not ready to go yet and they were still working on it. So it's definitely pretty cool that we actually had a nice little look at the, what the brand new rewards are going to be. With Appa obviously being a flying bison, it definitely does make sense that he is going to be a brand new glider that we're going to be able to get in our account for absolutely free. So be sure you're keeping up with those challenges once they go live, as obviously it's going to be a nice little update and a nice collaboration to see here inside of Fortnite. Come here, you, and... Man, this Hades chains are just so much better now with the most recent update. They're just, they just honestly shred. Well, we'll grab this high ground here in the zone. We are chilling. I have to be around here somewhere. Oh, there you are, buddy. Let's see if we can drag him up here quick. There we go. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for the brand new Avatar collaboration and also the brand new May the 4th collab. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you're not already, do consider using my support creator code YTORA inside of the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. And if you enjoyed, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.